Losing weight and burning fat can be very difficult and it's hard to stick it out if you don't see results right away. How to lose weight faster? Luckily, there are effective and easy ways to speed up fat burning. Watch until the end as I go over 10 surprising ways to speed up fat loss, as well as the scientific evidence to back up these effective strategies as the fastest ways to lose weight. Starting with number 10, protein sparing modified fast. It's not as complicated as it sounds and it actually makes weight loss really easy. Protein Sparing Modified Fast, or PSMF, is a weight loss approach designed to get you lean as fast as possible. Through a low-carb, low-fat, high-protein diet that restricts calorie intake to a minimal level, the PSMF diet includes lean protein like chicken, fish, and turkey, as well as low-carb vegetables like spinach, broccoli, and cauliflower. But that's not all. To make sure that you lose mostly body fat and retain muscle mass, you'll need to lift weights at least three times a week and have at least one gram of protein per day per body pound of body weight. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, then you would shoot for 150 grams of protein a day. In one study over a six-week period, 15 obese patients participated in a protein-sparing modified diet plan and lost 31.8 pounds, 14.4 kilograms of body fat on average while maintaining lean body mass. This diet is very restrictive, so it's recommended that you stick with it for two weeks and then take a week to return to maintenance calories. Then you can continue with another two weeks of PSMF and repeat the routine until you've hit your goals. Number nine to speed up fat loss is an aggressive cut. This approach means decreasing your daily calorie intake to help you reach your goals faster. And the best part, you can do it without losing muscle. For males over 26% body fat and females over 40%, you can shoot for a calorie deficit of 40 to 50% under your maintenance calories. Don't know how to calculate your maintenance calories? No worries. Just multiply your current body weight by 14 to get an estimate. For example, if you weigh 200 pounds, multiply 200 by 14, and your maintenance calories would be 2,800 a day. So an aggressive 50% cut would be 1,400 calories a day. But if you're at an average or low body fat percentage, you want to be more cautious about cutting your calories too low. For males between 20 to 26% body fat and females between 32 to 40%, you should go for a calorie deficit of only 30 to 40% under your maintenance calories. For example, if your maintenance calories are 2,000, an aggressive cut of 40% would be 1,200 daily calories. But don't worry, you won't lose muscle as long as you're getting enough protein, lifting weights regularly, and getting getting enough sleep. In fact, there are studies where participants were placed on a low calorie diet while weight training three times a week. They were able to maintain their muscle mass while losing body fat. In a study where men and women were placed on an 800 calorie per day diet for 12 weeks, they still managed to maintain their muscle mass as long as they were weight training three times a week. This actually brings us to the number eight way to speed up fat loss, and that is building muscle. Not only will strength training maintain muscle mass as you drop body fat, but having more muscle on your body boosts your metabolism. With a revved up metabolism, that means you can eat more and still stay lean. However, do not fall into this common mistake most people do when weight training while losing weight, and that is lowering your weights. Your goal should be to try your absolute best to prevent that from happening. Stick to the same weight load you were normally using unless you absolutely have to drop that weight. On to the number seven tip to speed up fat loss. Start every meal with salad, veggies, or low calorie soup. Even drinking a glass of water before a meal can cause a stretch reflex in the stomach that is proven to assist with weight loss. Well, salads, vegetables, and low calorie soups have a similar and even greater effect at filling you up before you eat your more calorie dense meal. Now be extremely cautious of what you put on your vegetables. It should not be loaded with super high calorie dressings or a ton of oil as this defeats the whole purpose. There's one other amazing benefit of loading up with vegetables before your meal and that is they are full of fiber, keeping you fuller for longer and making fat loss easier and faster. Which brings us to the number six way to speed up fat loss, eating 
more fiber. An effective way to maintain a calorie deficit without feeling hungry is to include fiber because of its filling effect. There are studies that show adding 14 grams of fiber per day can decrease total daily energy intake by 10%. Fiber makes food more filling due to its ability to prolong the time that food stays in your stomach. Fiber-based foods typically have a tough and crunchy texture, which also contributes to satiety by requiring more chewing. Besides vegetables and fruits as your best source of fiber, there are low-calorie snacks that are high in fiber like butterfree popcorn, crunchy roasted chickpeas, and seaweed wraps. On to the number five way to speed up fat loss, zero calorie sweeteners. If you've got a sweet tooth like me, you can easily replace sugar with zero calorie sweeteners. Unfortunately, consuming too much sugar can increase hunger. This is why people that consume more added sugars tend to be heavier than people that don't. The good news is removing sugary soda from your diet can reduce calorie intake and lead to fat loss. Most human studies show that artificial sweeteners, including asperidum and sucralose, are safe when consumed in the recommended recommended amounts. However, too many artificial sweeteners can impair gut health and glucose tolerance. Instead, I recommend to have natural zero calorie sweeteners like stevia or monk fruit. Next up is my favorite way to speed up fat loss. Number four is to walk more. It's the easiest way to burn extra calories throughout the day. Instead of just sitting at your desk all day or lounging around the house, get up and move. Take your dog for a walk more often. Park your car a bit further away when you go shopping. It might not sound like a big deal, but these small changes can make a huge difference in the amount of calories you burn throughout the day. For example, a 150 pound person burns about 270 calories an hour while walking at a moderate pace. That's almost 1,900 calories per week. And the best part, low intensity cardio activities like walking don't cause your body to have a high energy expenditure, which means you won't feel too exhausted later in the day. Go ahead and be active throughout the day, whether it's walking, cycling, hiking, gardening, swimming, or whatever activity you enjoy. If you want to take the calorie burning up a notch, number three will definitely do that. And that is high intensity interval training, also known as HIT. Who says working out has to be boring? You can have a blast while getting in a killer workout with HIT. One badass combination you can do is exercises like burpees, squats, and mountain climbers in a short 20 minute circuit. And get this, according to Harvard Health Publishing, a 185 pound person can burn up to 577 calories in just 30 minutes of doing a HIT cycling session. That's like burning off a whole burger. So what are you waiting for? Crank up that playlist, get your sweat on and watch those pounds melt away. On to number two to speed up fat loss getting all your essential vitamins and minerals. These little powerhouses can have a huge impact on your weight loss results. For example, iodine is crucial for making thyroid hormones that help boost your metabolism, while calcium can affect how your body metabolizes fat. And if you're currently low on zinc, it can have a big effect on your metabolism. Just ask the woman who raised her resting metabolic rate by 527 calories a day by fixing her zinc deficiency. But it's not just about weight loss. These micronutrients are essential for energy production, workout performance, endurance, and resistance to fatigue. And don't forget about vitamin D, which can impact your appetite and even contribute to obesity if you're not getting enough. Unfortunately, many people are deficient in one or more micronutrients, even if they eat a relatively healthy diet. Blame it on modern agricultural practices, but the fact remains that our food is less nutrient dense than it used to be. That's why it's important to try to get your micronutrient needs from your diet and sunlight exposure for vitamin D, but sometimes that's just not possible. In those cases, supplementing with specific micronutrients can be a game changer. So go ahead and give your body the nutrient boost it deserves. Finally, last but not least, number one is consistency. Listen up, I gave you some killer tips to help you reach your fitness goals, but here's the real secret. Consistency is key. If you're constantly yo-yoing, losing the weight only to gain it back, it's gonna be really hard to stay motivated and you'll never see the results you're after. So make sure you're sticking to your plan. Maintain those healthy habits. It may not be easy, but trust me, it'll be worth it when you see the amazing results of your hard work and dedication. Want more proven secrets to fast weight loss? Check out my next video.